the tricks getting in here. <laughs> oh, thank you. I am so excited to be here. And I'm so grateful for being able to work with you day to day in the work that I do. I have so many questions and I'm trying to narrow them down. <laughs> Um, Pretty easy. We only have one answer. Oh, good. Get in the vortex. Get in the vortex, right? <laughs> um, my first question has to do with a book that I've written called Quantum Soul Clearing. And it's a process that I have used to help myself and my clients get into the vortex in a really big way. And I've heard you speak that... Not, I mean, to not focus. For a long time, you said don't fo focus on the negative. And then it was like, look at it, but don't dwell on it. And part of the process is going within and connecting to that divine core center, to that spirit that lies within. And then the next set, step is identifying what that person still has that energetic hook to. And getting that hook... And I, we go through a whole set of clearing statements, which right now are a little tedious, I have to say. <laughs> and eventually they'll shorten down with your help. But the part, and, and my clients and I also, when we get to the end of the clearing part of it, there's a relief. And for me, the best part is then the download and being able to pull what's in that vortex in and download it to that person so that it's an actual functional skill set for that individual. And I was wondering if you could talk to me a little bit about that because there still feels like there's something maybe off or not complete. Or I, I'm not well, sure. Well, it sounds to us as you're speaking it here that... You're, you're just applying the normal human tendency to this that is applied to a lot of things. You're too heavy on the step one. That any, t any time you're doing a clearing process, you're focused upon what you want to clear. Mm -hmm. And it slows it all down. Because, because in the attention to what you want to clear, you are depriving yourself of what's already clear. In other words, it's, if, if you realize that they've already taken the bounce and what they want is already there, mm -hmm. but there's a certain amount of dog and pony show that is necessary in order for people to have the process. In other words, you've got to get them to start thinking. And so don't worry about it, your process as being too... As long as... Uh, here's the criteria. If you are seeing frequent relief, mm -hmm. then what you're doing is good. Oh, good. Because the relief is the indicator that, that, that there is distraction from the resistant thought and allowance of the less resistant thought. So as long as you are getting a, a consistent feeling of relief, then you're on the right track. The thing that's tricky about any process, and we know this from the endless processes that we're offering, is that everybody is in a different place in relationship to the process and so mm -hmm. some have faster results some have slower results some don't want to even play it at all and so mm -hmm. just don't ask one process to work for everybody because it, in the same way that that all clients don't come to you to begin with exactly and if you trust that in that you see this is something that's really helpful for a teacher like you mm -hmm. and a healer like you and an uplifter like you is that things are always working out for you but things are not always only working out for you. Things are always working out for everybody else too. So when the universe puts you together in the spirit of things always working out, that means together you're going to figure out the benefit that you have to offer each other. Mm -hmm. So if you don't try to force anything, and that's why we're wanting you to be lighter on the clearing process. If you don't try to force it, but just more allow it, then... Then, then that's the piece that we think that you're looking for. It will just be easier. Try, it's like trusting the vortex. Right now, and, and it's a very common thing, when, when, you, when you know what you want to achieve and you're not quite sure that you're achieving it mm -hmm. in, in the fullest way that you want to, then 
you're trying to figure it out I'll go and I'll ask Abraham and they'll tell me what to do so that I can get this result and we say we want you to do the flip of that we want you to get into your vortex we want you to revel in the good work you're doing we want you to feel satisfaction in the relief that you're able to bring yourself we want you to remember the clients that are thriving as a result of working with you we want you to remember that everything's working out for everybody until you've talked yourself into the vortex and then you will run then from that knowledgeable place mm -hmm. of remembering who you really are you will rendezvous with your clients in a way that will the manifestation of the rendezvous will reflect the work that you're doing it's so interesting you think that you're teaching them how to feel when what you're really mm -hmm. doing well stay with this just a little sorry, bit because ahead. most most therapists it's it's like I, I I will learn this I will learn a process I will learn a teachable duplicatable process that will bring I will write a book about it that will bring more people it, it, it will help more people get to where they want to be where what we're wanting you to understand that this whole thing is about you it's about you adjusting your vibration so that the vortex can bring you into rendezvous with those who can reflect back to you your state of being your state of being isn't that interesting the therapist is always getting feedback from the patients of her state of being of her state of expectation 100% of the time people are raising or lowering to your expectation period Wow. So if you are an uplifter, never mind the process, never mind where they are, never mind what they're doing, never mind what they're saying. The only thing to mind is how you feel. And if you feel great, they're going to benefit from their interaction with you. And if you're worried about where they are, they're not going to benefit from their interaction with you. And I, and I don't worry about where they're at. It's some people get stuck in in some people get conflict. Some people get stuck in my stuckness. Some people just get stuck, period. <laughs> Some people, that's true. But, but if people are getting stuck in your experience, mm -hmm. you're stuck. Well, that's true, too. Because if you weren't stuck, you wouldn't rendezvous with stuck ones. Mm, thank you. And even if you rendezvoused with a stuck one, they'd unstick right before your eyes. <laughs> you'd you'd you. have a breakthrough. You'd have a breakthrough right there. there. You'd have a clearing. Yeah. <laughs> a clearing <laughs> yay so speaking of stuck well, well let me ask one more real quick question about that you've said in and I've heard you say this repeatedly there's never some a thought or a feeling that doesn't constantly exist and the intention with this is to in other words every thought still exists correct but whether you're rendezvousing with it or not is an entirely different conversation <sighs> got it thanks that just because because especially with a, a counselor or a teacher or a lover or someone who really cares about people you've given a lot of attention to a lot of people and the longer people practice therapy mm -hmm. the more crap <laughs> they hold in their vibration until they been they begin to to elicit from one client something that they wouldn't have elicited if it wasn't active in their vibration because they elicited it from another oh, there are people having past life regressions who are certain that their father molested them and he never did hmm. where's it coming from thought forms because somebody had the experience the therapist captured it held it extracts it you see so that's that's why we're saying you, your clientele reflects how you feel that's why I don't go looking for troubling troubled people <laughs> oh, that's a good point it's, Thank it, you. It, it's, it's the thing it's the thing that's most iffy about this idea of service is that you say well healthy people don't need me so so I'll look for people who have problems and then and then you train your you let them train your frequency into their problem and then you want want to write a book about clearing things you say mm-hmm where if you just if you you can make it so much if if you let's ask you some questions okay do you believe in the well-being of everyone with whom you come in contact absolutely do you believe that everyone that you interact with whether professionally or socially mm -hmm. or or just rendezvousing in passing do you believe that they have an inner being in their vortex of course and do you believe that their inner being is calling them yes and do you believe 
that really, since infinite intelligence, source energy, all that is, what man calls God is on the case, do you really believe that they need you? No. So, what's your role in the interaction? In other words, as an uplifter, as a healer, what's your role? Focus. Your role is to focus yourself into the best that they are, into the fullness of they, that they are. Because frankly, it's easier for you to find it because they've been practicing the absence of it. They don't always believe in the beauty of who they are. That's but it's true. easier for you to believe in the beauty of who they are. Why? Because you're going to focus on the beauty of who they are in a more general way. Because mm. you don't know them. Lucky for them. <laughs> Lucky. <laughs> Until about 20 therapy sessions. <laughs> then you and know. After, but you know what? After three or four, they don't need me. Well, that's because good. they have that But you get the sense of what we're talking about. In other words, it's like people come together in relationships and they say, Tell me about yourself. And we say, No, don't. <laughs> don't do it. Don't. Just be in this moment the bright, shiny person that you are and don't talk about who you've ever been. Just rendezvous in this powerful place and have this new beginning with this new person who's also rendezvousing in this powerful place and never mind where you've been mm, thank you so